alaikum friends hi there and welcome back to my channel today i am sharing a weekend vlog and just a little here and there and a few yummy recipes that i'm going to be sharing with you guys as you guys can see these were two cute little baskets i made for two cute little boys our relatives that had went to umbra so we had gone down to their house and i just wanted to make these baskets to take along with us with a few other things so i just thought i'd share with you guys Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really hope and pray that you guys will enjoy today's video vlog. If you guys do friends, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me your guys' wonderful feedback and comments down below. And share and subscribe to my videos. So now I'm going to start off with a yummy, um, simple Pakistani lunch that we had made. So I'm going to go ahead and share the recipe with all of you guys. So my sweet friends, today I'm making a bengan karai. Very simple, yet very, very satisfying. I think it's a certain age that you get to that you finally accept that even making simple vegetables are so delicious, satisfying, and fulfilling. Does anyone agree? So I'm going to go ahead and start off by cutting all my ingredients. I've thinly sliced the eggplant, the bengan. Now I've sliced the, the onions. I've chopped up tomatoes, not too small, nice and big, and some green chilies. I'm gonna just split them and um, leave them whole. I've heated up my oil in a big karai, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in my bengan. You guys can use sesame seed oil, you guys can use vegetable oil, any kind of cooking oil that you guys would like to. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in together. Now, the way that I want this today is I'm gonna go ahead and put all the ingredients in together besides the tomatoes, some of the tomatoes at the end. And I'm gonna simply just fry this like a karai type. I don't want it to get all mushy. I don't want it to um, you know, lose its flavor anyway, having it really dark, or I don't want it to stick to the pan, or you know, little things like that in your cooking will change such of a big flavor in you know the dish that you're trying to make so i'm going to be really careful about that i've added some turmeric i've added a little bit of red pepper and i've added in some salt i'm also going to add in or i think i've already added in some coriander crushed coriander and zita so that's what i'm adding in i'm gonna go ahead and mix everything up together you want to be gentle with it this only takes minutes to cook and you wanna be very gentle, making sure that you do not mix very hard so it doesn't get all like, you know, soggy and mushy and stuff. You want it to, you know, be visible and known that it's a, you know, veggie karai. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I left the green chili in there for color and I'm gonna add some red cherry tomatoes in for color as well. Now my best friend here is my lid. I'm gonna just go ahead after I've stirred it, cover with the lid on very low flame for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes watching it very carefully, I'm going to remove the lid. I'm not going to stir anything and I'm going to put in my tomatoes and then I'll gently stir it. Cook for just about two, three minutes more with the lid and our karai is done. That's how simple and easy it is. Like I said, do not over stir do not make it mushy just gently very slowly and guys i know that some of you guys might be thinking that there's a lot of oil in this but i personally think that that's very necessary in order to make you know a yummy vegetable karai like this because the oil is what's going to really make it tasty and it's not going to make it stick and it's going to fry everything up after that i tilt my karai to the side so it releases all the oil everything i mean nothing will even stay in the vegetables that way so all the oil will come to one side and all, all I will do is save that for next time inshallah when I'm making another veggie karai or like for the top of um, kari pakoras or just like you know I'm going to reuse it it's not going to go to waste but that's what I do with the oil I do not leave it in the vegetables at all and this right here is some um, dal that I'm making some shai dal on the side so as you guys can see what a perfect combination right anybody else agree I love, love, like I said, it's a certain age that you come to that you even love vegetables and dals and, you know, just lassi with nice tandoori roti and all that good stuff. So my dal's all done. 
and the kadai is all done. It didn't even take about 10 to 12 minutes for my kadai to finish. Like I said, 10 minutes with the lid on, very, very slow. So it just simmers and cooks everything from in and out. And then after you add the cherry tomatoes, cover again with the lid for two to three minutes. And that's it, friends. It's all done, soft. Oh, so delicious. You guys must give this a try. Now I'm making some tandoori naan in the oven. I'm making it out of whole wheat flour. I'm not using uh, metha or white flour for this, so it's whole wheat flour, but I did share the recipe for you guys, and I promise you guys that I'll leave the link down below. I'm sorry that sometimes I forget, but inshallah from now forward, I will not. Link will be down below or up in the right-hand corner. Do give this naan a try. It's delicious. I make it on the tava, then I put it in my oven, and I broil it from the top. So it's tandoori naan. It's delicious, and I love having it in my chakir right here that my mom got me from Pakistan. Keeps the roti very hot hot and so does the hot pots as well and that's how quick and easy it was i hope you guys do give this version my version a try friends inshallah i promise you guys won't be disappointed after we were done with cooking and easy eating that yummy satisfying pakistani desi style meal we went shopping it was a lazy sunday so we thought we'd go get some dessert and right next to the dessert store it was sears so you guys know that Sears is so, so nice. I mean, I should say the home department's so nice. The department where you get all these wonderful dishes and of course, all their nice clothing, furniture, and everything else. I love these dresses that I saw here. They're like these nice, cute, um, you know, if they're a little longer, they'd be like an abaya type of a dress, but it was so nice. It's normally like, what, $45, $50, and it was on sale, I think, for $26 or something. I can make this probably if I sat down with the fabric. I could probably make one of these within an hour. But the only sad thing is I do not have time. <laughs> so I shouldn't even be saying that. But when I look at these dresses and see how expensive they are, I thought, I think, man, I need to take out a day, sit down, sew myself a nice wardrobe and share with all of you guys. So if you guys would like to see a all day sew with me video, then please let me know down below. If you guys comment and want me to, I'll definitely um, get everything together to go ahead and do that so yeah this is why i like sears because they have you know most of the time nice modest clothing what a nice cardigan is that a sweater and nice scarves and oh the jewelry i don't really wear jewelry like this because i'm allergic to this jewelry but isn't it so pretty i could only wear the gold kind but this is so pretty brings back memories of when i was younger and i'd love to always you know buy these and collect them and wear them and stuff but yeah their shoes and you know everything's nice they have things for all kinds of seasons and stuff um my son swalek was going crazy after all the toys just like all the kids always do so that's always a bummer when you have to end up, you know, either you either hear them cry it out in the store and just go on with them crying or then you end up spending 10 to 20 dollars on a toy that they play with once and never look at again. So I had to let him cry here <laughs> and get him out of the store because I know once that toy goes home, one day he'll play with it and that'll be it. So after that, we visited upstairs and Swalek was laying down on one of these beds. I don't know if I recorded him or not, but he was so angry and upset with me that he came and said that this is my bed and he started laying down. And look at these cute dresses, mashallah. When we were younger and when my sisters would yo were younger, my mom would sew these cute, adorable dresses. So that looked just like those. So that's why I recorded that a little. And then after that, my friends, it was time for dessert. If you guys know the Cheesecakes Factory, you guys know what I'm talking about. That is some real, real good stuff. So we went to the Cheesecake Factory and we just got some dessert. And it was so pretty and so beautiful from the inside, but it was such of a big rush that we just got it like to go and then just had it in the car. But just temptations, temptations, we couldn't choose every cake that you see here besides these three on top are cheesecakes 
So there are so many different flavors, lemon, chocolate, vanilla, mocha, coffee, every kind. It's quite expensive, I'm not gonna lie. It was like eight, nine dollars for a piece of cheesecake, but it's so, so worth it. So that was delicious, and alhamdulillah, it was a nice weekend. I hope and pray you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do, please give me a thumbs up let me know what you guys think and let me know what you guys want to see next please give me your guys's feedback suggestions and i have also made a video on davat vali palau the davatuno vali um riche so <laughs> that's for all my push to followers so inshallah upon all your guys's requests because so many of my wonderful sisters always message and want me to make a video in Pushto but to tell you the truth I'm like so embarrassed even though that's my first language I can't believe I'm not used to making them in Pushto or in Pukhto so that's why I'm you know hesitant to make my first video but inshallah let me know if you guys really really want me to and then this one I will post ASAP and I hope that you guys will enjoy this video until my next video friends take care with good health Allah Hafiz.